Lesson 85. This is part of the second review and today we are reviewing lesson 69 and 70. Welcome to the Qigong Support for Course in Miracles. I am Judith and you are at the Lucid Mind Center. How this works is this. First we're going to read this lesson together. There is two lessons which we are reviewing. And the instructions to this particular review period are suggesting that we split um, the exercises of those two lessons up. So you do, you're supposed to do one lesson in the beginning of the day and one lesson for the second half of the day. So I am creating a several Qigong classes for you, which you can mix and match according to the lessons which you are reviewing. After the reading and after the contemplation of this lesson, I will suggest a couple of lessons which you can do for today's lessons. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know also at the end where you're watching from, how long you've been with The Course in Miracles and what you thought about this class. About this particular review, the contemplations if you will, but also at the end of the class you do, let me know how the class went for you. And the classes you can share, the Qigong classes you can share with anybody really, Anybody can participate in those Qigong classes. You can just use any kind of affirmation or ideas which you like to really anchor well in your, in your mind-body connection and which you would really like to get inspiration from your higher self, from your Holy Spirit, from the Divine Source. Let's begin reading our lesson. Lesson 85. My grievances hide the light of the world in me. This belongs to lesson 69. My grievances show me what is not there and hide from me what I would see. Recognizing this, what do I want my grievances for? They keep me in darkness and hide the light. Grievances and light cannot go together. But light and vision must be joined for me to see. To see, I must lay grievances aside. I want to see, and this will be the means by which I will succeed. Specific applications of this idea might be made in these forms. You can, for example, say, let me not use this as a block to sight, whatever happens to you today. The light of the world will shine all this away. Or you could say, I have no need for this, I want to see. So like I have already said to the previous lessons in this particular review, I suggest you take a piece of paper, write down the first lesson, the first idea, then write down those three sentences which I have just told you, then go into the Qigong class and wait for the inspiration to come to you when I, when I prompt you to allow the inspiration to come in. And whatever inspiration comes to you, add it to your morning lesson, to your morning contemplation. And then do the same for the second part. You write the second uh, lesson down, you write the second, the, the second three ideas down, and when you do the afternoon session with me, if you want, then when the inspiration comes and you get a message, you add it to it. Okay? Let's go to the second one. My salvation comes from me. Today, I will recognize where my salvation is. It is in me because its source is there. It has not left its source and so it cannot have left my mind. I will not look for it outside myself. It is not found outside and then brought in. This is not how it works. But from within me, it will reach beyond and everything I see will but reflect the light that shines in me and in itself. These forms of the idea are suitable for more specific application. Let this not tempt me to look away from, for, from me, from my salvation. Don't look for salvation somewhere outside of you. I will not let this interfere with my awareness of the source of my salvation. This has no power to remove salvation from me. And just as I said before, write the idea down 
and those three ideas and then go into the Qigong class and whatever comes to you as an inspiration, as a sentence or a word, or maybe a scene, if something comes, you add it to your list, today's list, to apply to this afternoon, to the afternoon or the second part of the day. So what I can see here, I'm going to suggest a nice uh, purging Qigong class for you for the first lesson. And for the second lesson, I will always, almost just uh, opening a heart session um, for you to open up your heart and become more aware of, of who you are. To, to, real, to realize, to understand that your salvation comes from you. So you need to connect to your central channel or to your heart. Understanding that all the tools you possibly need, they are already within you. Let's move some cheese.